Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to today's video. Or today, I'm going to be doing a very quick overview of the two gubernatorial elections this year, those being the New Jersey and Virginia ones. This is kind of going to be a relatively easy year, as there's, well, not many to... Uh, not much to discuss, and these are actually relatively easy elections to um, to look at, if we're being 100% honest. Things get a little bit more exciting in the gubernatorial sphere next year. Um, there's also not many special elections going on this year, surprisingly. Um, it seems that Biden has tried to avoid... Uh, Try to avoid uh, picking senators and governors because he's worried or the Democrats are worried that they'll lose those seats if they do. Um, California senator is going to be appointed. I think it's going to be Kevin DeLeon. Um, I think that's the guy's name. We'll see. Anyway, both New Jersey and... And Virginia, I'm actually putting in the likely call New Jersey because it can be surprisingly competitive, but, uh, and also the pandemic kind of hit certain parts of New Jersey decently hard. And Virginia, um, just because it is becoming a blue state because of Nova, and that's really all there is to say about that is. Nova has grown. When I say Nova, I'm talking about Northern Virginia, specifically Loudoun, Fairfax County, uh, Loudoun County, Fairfax County, Prince William County, and their associated independent cities in those areas. Um, because those areas have taken in a tremendously large amount of uh, transplants from northeastern states really um, and those areas have grown disproportionately compared to the rest of the Commonwealth uh, such as Southwest Virginia Richmond area and Tidewater but anyway that is basically kind of concludes that um <laughs> if i'm 100 percent honest these two elections are not anything to write home about or anything special uh so unfortunately i don't have much to say so and the reality is um how, what's the guy's name in New Jersey? Oh, I forget the New Jersey governor's name. But in Virginia, of course, uh, Governor Northam is term limited. And the only way the race was going to be competitive was going to be if... Um, either Lieutenant Governor Fairfax or the Attorney General, I forget his name, um, ran for the office against a relatively moderate Republican because both of those candidates have significant scandals. However, the Democrats are almost certainly not going to pick either of those because the Democratic Party of Virginia is going to nominate former Governor Terry McAuliffe and he's an idiot, but uh, problem is uh, the areas of the state that are controlled by Democrats would vote for any Democrat over any Republican these days. And yeah, that's just kind of the truth of the matter. Um, now, the reason why Northam isn't running for re-election is because he is term limited. Yeah, Virginia has this rule where you're only allowed to serve one term as governor, and then you have to step down. Which is pretty cool, actually. I, I do think it's a very good rule. I think it's a very good law. Um, so, yeah, there is that. 
And just to stretch this video out a little bit, um, let's do some, let's just do redistricting of, what the, ah, nice, never mind. I was going to do that, but apparently it logged me out. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess uh, take it easy, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.